You said something there that's pretty interesting. People probably think I'm fucking crazy. So this is a massive thing, right? Like we always, we always fucking think about what other people are thinking, or at least that creeps into our psyche. What are your thoughts around that shit? Because I know for a lot of people, maybe you watching at home, it's like, you're worried about what people are going to think. You're doing this weird thing. You're fucking whatever. I know I've been dealt that shit in my, in my time. How about you? You ever thought about what people thought of you? You know what's interesting is we think that we do think of what uh, people think of us. Yeah. That's the that's the problem, right? Because up until a long time ago, I did not think I give a shit about what people think until I was again at a Tony's event. Uh, my head was hurting because of how you know how bright the room was, and I didn't want to wear my glasses because my eyes are sensitive. And uh, one of the coaches was like, hey, what's wrong with you? I was like in the corner, you know, rubbing my head. I'm like, my, you know, my head is hurting. He's like, do you have sunglasses with you? I'm like, I do, but I do want to look like a schmuck wearing sunglasses inside. He's like, oh, so you care about what people think about you? And I looked at him in my head. I'm like, <laughs> don't fucking coach me right now. I don't feel like you're coaching me. And he's like, I wonder where that shows up in your life. And he walks away. Oh. And I was like, this son of a bitch, you know? What's that? And then for like, I remember for a month after that, bro, I was thinking about it. And then I started like right now, just what I just said. I'm like, and I'm pretty sure like people in the ballot, you know, people around me think I'm crazy. No, I'm still doing it. But I know deep down, I'm like, fuck people, bro. I'm the thing I'm fucking crazy. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, no, hundred percent. Oh my God. I could go for days on this one. Um, but you know, something that's fucking like a mind bender that kind of got me off of that as much as possible. I think there's always that inside you. I think it's just innate because we're, we're conscious beings. We're Why aware. is that though? Why is that? I fucking, something to do with staying alive when there was tigers after us or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some awareness thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's definitely not serving us anymore. Um, but the thing that sort of triggered me away from that, because I was in that deep when I was back in the day, just coming on the internet, I was making selfie videos like on Facebook and shit. I'm like, Hey man, I'm fucking doing this internet thing and you know, come buy this thing for me or whatever the fuck. Right. And I would literally go hide around corners so that my wouldn't real life you? friends wouldn't see me, my real life friends. Yeah. Cause I'd be like a pool villa with a nice view at a barbecue. I'd be like, Oh, this is a fucking great spot for a couple of videos. I would go like hide around a corner, make my videos quietly. So people didn't look at me. And then I go back out to the party and I'd be there. I did that for like half of a year. But see how interesting is that? And see, that's the the, the mind fuck. Is yes. you're okay with putting yourself out there in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands, whatever, millions of people, right? Yeah. But are not okay with putting yourself out there in front of like five, ten people. And that's the thing that I've noticed. Why do you think that is and where does that stem from? I think it's because when you're putting yourself out there to the internet, it's not as tangible. You don't know them personally. You don't see them. You don't talk to them. Maybe you don't as heavily weight their opinion of you because they're not in your immediate social circle. Okay. People in your immediate social circle, psychologically, they could go tell your other friend that you're a dumbass. And then now all of a sudden you're not part of the tribe anymore. And now you go and you die because you're not in the tribe, right? Because you got no food, like old school. But like the people on the internet, you don't know them. You're like, I don't give a fuck what you guys think about me. I don't know any of you guys. I'll never see you in my life. I'm just going to say a bunch of stuff right now and let's just do it, you know? But the, the, the thing that got me off that, and like now you and I, we both obviously don't give a fuck. We're always doing this shit and we just don't care. It's when I realized, and I don't remember who said it, but it was like two things. One, people are not thinking about you as much as you fucking think they are. Yeah. People are not sitting around being like, oh, I wonder what Bashar is up to today. Like, yeah. no, they got lives. They got their own shit. Yeah. They think we're thinking about them and we're fucking not. And the other thing is... Think about the most famous person that has like died recently, right? You know what I mean? Think of someone who's passed away recently who was famous as fuck. Okay. Let's just use the Queen of England. Okay. She passed away this year. When was the last time you thought of the Queen of England? I mean, not ever. Whenever I saw something on Instagram by accident or, you know, just by yeah. passing, you know? Yeah, and think of the impact, whether, I mean, this isn't a fucking political debate here, like, about, like, them conquering the world and bullshit. Think of the impact she had on, like, the world. Right. She was the queen of fucking England for, like, 80 years. They took over shit, they got taken over, they got rich, they did this, they did that. 
The impact she had is so fucking massive, yet here we are, haven't thought about her for a second. Who the fuck's thinking about us? Nobody. And we're all gonna die. So just do you. 